And welcome to this week's edition of This Week in Roan County with me, Julia Hurley. This week we have a special guest. We have Randy Heidel, Chief of Police for Harriman. Randy, thank you so much for being here today. I really appreciate it. Glad to be here. I hear you have a lot of new programs out right now, and I would just love for the people of Roan County to hear all about it. Okay. Well, our first thing we got going is our uh, Citizens Police Academy. Uh, it starts April 6th. Um, we're actually starting it back up. We, Harriman City did this uh, academy probably about seven years ago, eight years ago in prior administration, and uh, we wanted to bring it back up again. So uh, it's a great, great opportunity for the citizens of uh, Harriman. And actually, we got some citizens from even in Roan County, not actually in the city, going to the class. And the purpose of us wanting to do it is to kind of educate the public about what law enforcement work is all about. And uh, so we have a lot of different topics in the class. It's going to be an eight-week course. Uh, we uh, limit it to 12 seats, you know, 12 people. And uh, I actually have an Explorer program, which is high school students that come train with us every Tuesday. And uh, I left four slots for them. So I have 16 students in the class. Uh, the class is free. Uh, we provide a shirt for them to wear, academy shirt, and provide all the uh, paperwork for the uh, course. Uh, a lot of the eight topics that we all go over, they're going to learn is uh, one is going to be basic orientation about the police department and about the uh, uh, instructors who are going to be there, and they're going to meet the police commissioners and the, and the city mayor. Uh, which was very big supporters of this. Uh, we have, uh, in, our, in our city, we actually have a police board. And this consists of uh, uh, Mayor Chris Mason and uh, uh, Police Commissioner uh, Chase Tedder and uh, Police Commissioner uh, Buddy Holly. And uh, they have been very big supporters of the police department, and uh, which we'll get into later on how all these programs we have is because of their support and the council support too. Uh, they've been very supportive too. Um, but the topics in the, in the academy is really great is that the first week is orientation. Second week is that they'll go through a range course. Now, we're not going to actually shoot real weapons, you know, because these are, uh, we're, we're not really going to, um, um, I guess we say, qualify these people to go out and carry weapons or give them carrying permits. But what we're doing is we call it simulation weapons. And uh, it actually shoots simulation rounds. It's a lot like a weapon like a, like a round, but you can it'll only go maybe 10 feet, 20 feet, you know, the round is. But we're going to set up a range course where they can actually, it still gives you the same feeling as a weapon, you know. So they're going to see how to hold a weapon, how to safely poster a weapon, uh, how to clean a weapon, and know a lot about the mechanics of the weapon. Uh, now, our department carries Glocks, Glock 40s. And uh, that's the kind of simulation weapon that we have. It's a Glock 40. So they're going to get the real kind of a real experience of our normal, normal range that we have. Uh, the next week, they'll learn about tra traffic enforcement. And basically, what that's going to be involving is making traffic stops, uh, the, the right way of doing traffic stops, the felony traffic stops. And they're going to understand why we do certain things on certain traffic stops. I think one of the biggest complaints that I get is why does it take two officers to pull a person over? Well, they're going to learn why. You know, they're going to learn that one of the dangerous things in our job is traffic stops. You never know what's going to happen. You don't know who you're pulling over. You don't even know what that person has just done. You know, it's possible a person that you're pulling over for speeding may have just committed a murder. You don't know this. So you have to be very cautious when you're making traffic stops. And it doesn't matter if it's a male or female or a teenager. You know, you always have to be cautious. And a lot of times the second vehicle is going to be what they call a backup vehicle. And, uh, or sometimes if you see a felony stop. Uh, I had a, a, a what stop? A felony stop. What is that? Basically what that is, is that uh, we may have been, I'll give you an example. Say uh, the officers are working and they get a call on a black SUV. Uh, white females driving, uh, there's been a weapon been shot from this vehicle. Somebody has a weapon been shooting from this vehicle. Well now, knowing that they're dispatches, officer dispatches, they are going to do a felony stop. They're going to be very cautious when they stop this vehicle. And it ain't going to be just one vehicle. You're going to probably see several officers come 
to where the traffic stop is going to come to a stop. And they're going to get out with their weapons drawn, and they're going to give orders, and they're going to tell people what to do, what not to do. And uh, it's kind of scary to a person who's in there, but we are trained. It's for their safety and our safety, and that's what they call basically a felony stop. And there's more detail about it, uh, but that's one of the things they're going to learn in the academy. You know, uh, They're also going to learn, um, what else do we have in there? Self-defense. They're going to learn how to do protect themselves in certain situations uh, like we go through. Uh, they're going to learn the uh, constitutional laws, you know, uh, so they will understand more why. A lot of people, when they call me, why does it take so long to work a case or why does it take so long to get something done? Well, you know, we have laws we go by, you know, we just can't, the bad guys don't have the rules, the good guys do. We have lots of rules and we have to go by those rules. So. They'll get to learn a lot about a lot of the rules we have to go by. Um, trying to think what else we have in there. Oh, then they'll have the very last week of the class will be the ride along. That's where they actually get to ride with an officer on the last, the last phase of the academy, and, um, which is very exciting because then they'll get to actually experience what it's like to pull over a vehicle. Because I remember the first time when I was a rookie, the very first time I pulled a vehicle over, how nervous I was. I mean, I felt my heart was going to come out of my body because I was beating so fast. And, uh, and it's just a, it's a different feeling when you talk about it than when you actually do it if you've never done it before. So they'll get to experience all that and uh, see what it's like. So I'm really excited about the Academy. Uh, we had so much people that wanted to sign up that uh, I couldn't get everybody in. So I'm probably going to have another class in, in fall. Don't have a date yet. Uh, we're gonna, this is our first one since I've been the chief, and uh, I'm going to see the pros and cons from it, and I might, if I have to tweak it a little bit, but I'm probably definitely going to have another one in fall because I had several people who were uh, uh, asking about it already, so I had, to, I had to turn down. Is there a website or a phone number for yes, that? Yes, you can get on www.harrimanpolice.com. Harrimanpolice.com. Everybody mm -hmm. will be right back. Visit www.harrimanpolice.com. We'll take a word from our sponsors. <laughs> 